you said something that I thought was was very funny in a kind of grim way in a uh, essay called "The Danger of Having Co- of Sharing a Cup of Coffee with Julian Assange." Um, oh yeah, the, yeah, but but you know, usually, sorry to interrupt you, but maybe yeah. this will some interest to viewers. You know that I will be frank. Usually, I sometimes I wouldn't say lie, but creatively enhance reality to make it more plastic so that it expresses yeah. the idea. But yeah. you know what shocked even me, an old cheater, that there I didn't lie. Sure. It's true. Let's, okay, briefly renew it. So, 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 so yeah, okay. so, yeah. So you're, you're, visiting, you're visiting Assange in prison and uh, the, the guard brought you a cup of coffee and you took off the lid and, you know, then put it down on the table in front of you. And After they, food, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, yeah, you had a sip. Yeah, you yeah, went down yeah, like yeah, you, know, yeah. you do, and, yeah, yeah. and then said, uh, and they made you put the lid back on, like they made a big deal of it, and then they in a very friendly way. I must emphasize this. Sure, sure, sure. But in a very friendly way, you know, they made sure immediately that you put the lid back on. Yeah. And then the explanation afterwards was that because he was this dangerous prisoner, you know, that you couldn't have, you know, hot coffee in between you or, or you know, your safety. You know, yeah, it, they may throw it into my face, yes. <laughs> this is, for me, a simplified but perfect metaphor of where we are today. Even the way we are controlled and so on, of course, everything is done in our... Everything is done for our health, safety, profit, and so on and so on, yes. But may I uh, add another funny remark? I hope they will not be mad at me at our books. No, I also like the book, I think, as to content. It has more diversity. It's better than my other two of these short political books with our pandemic one, pandemic two. But I have problem with the cover, not only this Maoist identification, you know, but look at the expression of my face, a kind of embittered wisdom, you know. <laughs> I, I look with trust and come, sorry guys, that's not me. I'm not like that. You know what I mean? I more and more believe the only thing when you are really in danger are dirty jokes. Yeah. Not because of potential racist content and so on, but again, my own point, when you are really in deep shit, mm-hmm. you cannot afford what is usually called dignity. <laughs> dignity presupposes a certain safety. And I always use this example. Imagine in Auschwitz, a Nazi wants to beat you and a poor, emaciated, half-dead Jew, God, stands up and tears off his shirt and say, yes, do whatever you want, but you will never kill my freedom desire. It's ridiculous. You are too, too, too humiliated, too in such a horrible position that you cannot afford the spectacle of dignity. You have been watching free public content from Give Them an Argument. To access every single episode of the show, the main show on uh, Monday nights, all of the streams, all of the uh, debate breakdowns, all of the patron exclusive post games on Monday nights, all of the patron exclusive bonus episodes every week, and much, much more, go to patreon.com slash Ben Burgess. I cannot resist ending this with, don't be foolish. <laughs>